So Krishna is whispering into the ears of his great friend and devotee, Arjuna, a tip. Just as you get a tip in the horse race, in the share market, a tip. Krishna is giving him a tip. What? Tapasvibhyo adhiko yogi. One who is contemplating, that man is more nobler, greater than all those who are doing tapas, penance. Karmi pyas anyani bhyobi mato adhikaha. It is my opinion that a man who is sitting in the seat of contemplation and trying to contemplate is any day nobler than all the erudite scholarship that he has learned by studying the great scriptural textbooks. You may master all the scriptural textbooks, you may repeat them, but in your life you are still selfish and uh, egocentric. Man, study the scripture is necessary. But after the study and all that, you have to sit down and try to reach there. An individual who is striving to reach out to the new dimension of consciousness, the God state of consciousness, is any day nobler than all those who are ascetics, who are doing penance. He is nobler than the various uh, pundits. Karmi Bhyaschadhigo Yogi. And this yogi contemplative must student is any day nobler than all those who are doing great karmas. Political, economic, social, spiritual, ritualistic are all karmas. The noble all these are necessary. Study of the scriptures, tapas, self-control, and social service or serving in the world outside are all necessary. They are all preparatory to quieten the mind. Once the mind has been quietened, the noblest work is any day turning the mind and intellect's attention exclusively to the higher in contemplation, the last lap of the journey, you reach out and awake into the new dimension of consciousness. Tasmad, therefore, yogi bhava Arjuna. Hey Arjuna, my dear friend, you strive to become a yogi, a contemplative saint. You cannot contemplate without tapas, without penance, without karma yoga, without the study of the scriptures. These are the right methods and methods of self purification. And having purified, strive. Your program of spirituality must be to get yourself established in a contemplative mood. Yoginam Abhisarvesham of all the great yogis in the world. Yogi, contemplative, men of contemplation in this world, Madgade Nandaratmana, those who have your, their mind has entered into my state, to the highest state of consciousness. Of all the great uh, contemplative sages, the one who has liquidated one who has merged with his mind and individuality with the higher. Shaddhavan Bhajade Yoman, such an individual who with great faith in himself and in the Lord, Bhajade Yoman, who come to serve me. Serve me meaning the entire world of plurality is nothing but him serving in the society, trying to wipe out the chills in the other's eyes, trying to revive and I mean, remove their ignorance of themselves, make them realize the highest truth. Same yukta tamo mataha. I consider such rishis, 
such contemplative masters, such men of realization as the noblest. See that? Krishna is a dynamic Vedanta. He is not recommending to you to go and the security of a monastery or go and bury yourself in the cave of the Himalayas. Having gained this wisdom, come back into the world. That is a real heroism. And learn to keep your balance in the world of plurality, serving everyone, demanding nothing, expecting nothing, wanting nothing. Uh, the very chance to serve the world. Why should such a man of perfection come to serve the world? It is only a grossification, a manifestation of his infinite love towards all beings. Why did Jesus work? His love for mankind. Why did Buddha work? His concern with the world of ignorant people suffering. Is to find out the solution for the sorrows of the world that he left the kingdom and came and realized the highest and thereafter, after, trained about 500 disciples and sent them all around the China and Japan. Say, for what? Out of sheer love. He is not collecting any funds. He didn't want newspaper support. He didn't want name and fame. Then where did he work this? The joy of fulfilling and providing, I mean serving others. So such masters when they work in the world outside, it is a concretization of their endless love for all living beings. Such a student, uh, such a seeker, I mean a contemplative master who having reached me, come into the world and try to turn people towards the higher reality. Dumb I consider as the noblest.